Hello, everybody. I almost talked on mute again. <laughs> Welcome back. We're just going to be jumping back into the art piece that we've been working on the last couple of weeks. And uh, we're going to try to make the skeleton lady better. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Just press music. Make sure it's not too loud. I'm trying them out there. I can already see a little more. That's right, we did the face paint. So now I'm going to do a layer above it. We're just going to kind of grab this dark color. And then I'm going to make a couple face shapes above this. I think we'll make this a little darker. Not completely black though. Make a new shape. And then get a general face shape in. I don't know why I bothered with that nose shape at first. We'll do it on a, another layer. Also do the facial features on this one too, I believe. Would be okay. I think I'm just gonna copy paste this over. Need to make sure I'm not resizing that. Come on, I don't want to resize. There we go. Just trying to move it. Maybe it would be best if the shadows were 
I think I just need to turn this down a bit. So I kind of want those colors to come through brighter. We'll try here for a little bit, see how I like it. Hey, welcome, Jigsoy. Let me give you a shout out. I hope you've been doing good. Here we go. Let me make sure this is nice and turned up. It, it's time to duel. It's time. <laughs> I died immediately. That's what I get. You didn't believe in the heart of the cards. It's time to do, 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 Oh, why couldn't I jump? Wow. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> It's time to duel, boys. It's time to do, 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 But uh, yeah, welcome in. We're back to doing skeleton later today. I hope your day has been going grand. Now your art adventures have been uh, very, very successful. Oh, thanks for lurking. Uh, I hope you enjoy your time. By the way, I finally got to read, um, I finally got to read SBG's piece on, uh, on the things she wanted an award on. It was very nice. Very cozy. Let's um continue on with the skeleton lady. It's been a lazy day, but I'm gonna try to work on a commission soon. Nice. I'm glad you um were able to get commission work so so quickly because uh you're definitely very talented, and anyone who's your client is a very lucky person. Let's get over here. We're going to do another set of layers. Yo, guys, the story, it got layers. But we're just going to go through and add the, the detail lines, I think. I need to come back to this layer. We need to have her body shape kind of in it too. Let's go ahead and get the collarbones in here. I'm going to turn this layer up because I'm having trouble seeing where I'm actually painting. <laughs> oh, welcome, Galax. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, hello. Hello. I hope your day's been going great and fine. Let me, let me give you a shout out to my birthday is soon. Congratulations. Are you going to be doing anything fun? Watch this. T-pose. Ah, I don't think I caught it. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. No, 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 no,
<laughs> Get the fuck moving! He's everywhere! Uh, I might stream later. Cool. We'll see if we can, uh, keep in on you later. If you decide to. Uh, let me turn this back down. We'll get the music going again. I need to turn this down for me a little more. There we go. Uh, I find a Minecraft mod pack. I might mess with it a bit. I may not be able to stick around for very long then. I'll try my best. Some uh, Minecraft mod packs get really spinny and it messes with my sensors and makes me sick. Yeah, I'm missing a lot of spaces here. But I'll definitely try. So we're gonna get in her shoulders. And then I need to bring in my sketch layer back. So I can actually see where I'm painting. By the way, have you guys seen the new um, Toby Fox animation with the Tokihana, the music video? Absolutely gorgeous. I'd check it out. If I were you guys. I've seen it. Yes, it's absolutely show-stopping. And Itoki Hana's voice has always just been this perfect balance of haunting and um, beautiful. It's a good combination. I need to erase this. I followed her dress line. And that's not something I meant to do. We need her body line, which is here. Have a good lurk. Thanks for stopping by and talking. I hope you have a wonderful cozy rest. Okay, I think I've got all the ends closed. Let's get in here. Yeah, nice. We'll do 30%. We'll see how that does. Okay, yeah, it doesn't mess the colors up too much. Too bad. So we'll keep it like that. I need to... Continue this one. Make sure I'm at the right brush size. And make sure I'm getting the lines put in for the head pieces. And the fabric pieces, I should say. I think I'll use the same pattern brush that I used on the matriarch in this piece too. Keep it, you know, thematic. Gonna turn it 
turn off our sketch layer real quick so I can... I think about 50%. Be good. Be good, be good. Alright, let me come in here and define the arms and stuff. I'll do a new layer. Can I change this to like a screen? Yeah, there we go. That'll help me make the distinction between the sketch layer and what I'm drawing since it's all in black. back down to this layer and get the dirt scrunch there. Let me turn this down a little bit more. His shoulders kind of in front of that fabric. So I'll need to make sure I come in and clean up these edges. They match the hands shape better. I just gotta, I think it's this one. Yeah. to erase back the shape of the stone. And then do the same thing for that other layer that's down here. It's this one here. Trying to get that separated so we can do one of these numbers. I need to make sure that that feels a little higher threshold at the high. Okay, there's a piece here. I need to make sure I erase better. There we go. Ooh. 
groups. Okay. That's the body part. Yeah, okay. That's here. On this layer, I think I'm going to turn it to a multiply. Before we turn it down a bit. Okay, I notice I need to come here and re-soften the edges after that selection. it like here and we'll work with it whenever we get to the other part. Let me see if I'm missing any pieces. Nope, that's it. So let me just go and add a couple more things. We need to add a darker patch here where the skirt bunches up. Just so it's like more mass there to be a little darker if we're talking about the transparencies like that. Then we'll turn it, make sure it's underneath the detail layers, turn it down a bit. Like so. And then I can add some details. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make these edges less wiggly. Get a cleaner edge going here before we get the pattern in. That one accidentally went too far in. Let's go ahead and erase these leftovers. Okay. Let me go to my pattern. I just realized there's a straggler. Get that. So I'm just going to paint it out now. For now. And then let's do some warping.
Okay, let me bring this down. And we're just going to clipping mask it to the first shadow layer. And then I'm going to mess around with the different things we can do with it. It may be nice to go with an additive layer. It gives it kind of a lace look. I think we'll do that. And then I'm going to get my eraser and we'll do a soft brush and lower the opacity. Uh, let me decrease the size and then kind of soften the, the edges. And then erase away from places it shouldn't be. be good. And then we'll do her skirt. Same brush pattern, but we're going to warp it differently. and it's not showing up. Let me undo the clipping mask. Uh, okay. It's because her body's on a different layer and I forgot about that. Yep. Much better. And we're just going to warp it into place. And I don't think I'm going to go on her shoulders. It's just going to be the bodice. And in the skirt. Gonna go race away where all the places it shouldn't be. Make sure it's not overlapping the other pattern in a displeasing way. I'm going to do a selection freehand 
Let's try to get this part of the pattern to crunch up. In a way that makes sense. that added anything and we're just not gonna bother with it and I think what I want to do instead of just the pure white I'm gonna change this to normal I'm gonna undo the clipping mask there do a clipping mask here get rid of this real quick so I can come in here and grab a color And then let's make sure we're on soft brush. Make it pretty big. Okay, let's grab the next color. I like to think death is a colorful lady. Okay, so we're gonna merge down and then do a clipping mask. Yeah, I like that. We're gonna go with that. I'll also repeat the same thing on the headdress. So we're gonna make this normal. Undo the clipping mask. Do a clipping mask above. And just alternate between the colors. I think we'll make the very top the yellow color. Maybe a couple here in the edges. I like it bright. Let me go into here and now that it's really colorful I can see all the places I miss in the erasing portion. So we're just gonna go fix that up a little. And then I think I'm going to copy a part of this pattern over and put it in the in-between her arms there. You'll understand in a second. I'm going to duplicate this. 
and I'm going to fill in some places. Let's reset that. I'm just gonna... Come in here. I'm gonna fade those edges pretty good. But I think I want that to continue down. Let me increase the size. Just kind of do it like that where it's fading out a little there. I need to do that in general with the the ends of her body just kind of fading away in the corners. I need to come up to this shadow and do the same thing. Okay, then I think maybe I'll just do the same thing here where I duplicate it. I'll do this, but I'm going to just select the parts I want to keep. And then we'll erase the rest. I need to reduce that size. We're going to erase the overlapping. And of course, all the places it shouldn't be. And I think this one is the one that's, yeah. Getting into places it shouldn't be. to I think just on this layer come back to our dark color I'll keep it on the soft brush and we'll just go through and add places where there should be more shadow like where she's bent at the waist here and then back behind my I forget so this one is too light a layer I think so we'll make a new one yeah that's gonna be better if it's on its own a layer where the skirt and the headdress kind of converge. Not a layer, but a shadow where they kind of converge. Then I think I'll come in here smaller, soft brush, and make the um... creases here darker. I need to switch back to my own brush, I think. A little more control.
actually think 60 is good. I'm gonna come to the face now. make her eyes this yellow. I need to get my sketch back up. That's what I need to do. There we go. I'll do is I'll, um, I'll get one eye how I like it and then I'll copy it over. Let me turn that the size. Make a um a group for her skeleton lady. Yep. I think I'm gonna turn this back to normal so we can see the rest of the picture. And I can kind of get an idea of what I'm gonna work on next. The next things we need to work on is the girl and the headstone because they're the next two biggest pieces and then we'll worry about the background and stuff. Um, I'm gonna do the girl first so I'm not wasting time on the headstone too much. We're gonna turn our skeleton lady off real quick. Get into the right palette group here. Make sure I'm on a good brush. This is her skin tone. I need to increase our brush size again. Gonna get the face in. And. Just go color in where the skin goes.
and then the brass color. This sleeve needs to be resting on this hand more like that. Have yeah, it kind of turned up in the the sketch layer. So we need to make sure it's laying down. Use the same color. We can come over here and place down the shoe shape. Whoops, something isn't connected. I think it was just the fill was too high. gaps where the color didn't quite take. There we go. Okay. We got our basic colors down there. I think I'll, go, I'll come back and shade it later. Let's go ahead and get the gold for the magic airplane. I think you can see a little bit of the tail there. Okay, and then behind the girl, but in, in front of the skeleton lady, we'll have the granite stone. I need to come over here and just get kind of a gray color. I probably need to tint it a little towards blue. Probably right about here. Make sure I'm zoomed out enough to get this whole thing. Whoosh! I think I'll get this line down and I'll do a hot drink. I am thirsty. Fixing the lines because I had to turn down the fill to get it to go in proper. There's a lot of gaps in between the lines and the fill. So we're just fixing that up.
free to take care of yourself with me, friends. Do a second set for Jexoy. Thanks. We'll do another stretch. And another hydrate. Nice and good. Nice and replenished. It does not feel like it's been an hour. <laughs> Goodness, how time flies. Ugh. I'm moving around like someone hit me with a dino. I'm working on stuff, by the way. I can't wait to see. I hope it's going great. That you're being nice and productive. But not toxically productive. So granite, it kind of has this flecked look to it, but it also on the cut end, so there's a polished part and an unpolished part. So for the unpolished part, we're going to make it lighter. Again, it depends on how the stone is, but sometimes the end pieces here aren't um, polished. So only the facade, the facades on the front and the back are polished. So on this one, I'm going to make it that the end pieces are not polished. And then the etchings for the names and where the rose is, it's not going to be polished either because these have to be sandblasted in order to be etched in, I guess you can say. Well, they don't have to be, but it's a common des design choice to have more of a matte square where the names go and the date. You know you've been around headstones too much when you <laughs> uh, know any slightest detail about them. <laughs> I don't think they're a thing normal people think about. Okay, so we're gonna come in and we're gonna get the flat grain first. We're going to turn this way down. Probably 10%, I think would be good. And let me fix up these couple edges that are peeking out. And then we'll go back in for the black line details and the rose. And I can already tell I'm going to have to turn this black down.
probably turn off the sketch layer if I can get this color right. I think about 50 would be right. Okay, and then I'm going to do the detail lines real quick. The separation lines I usually do. And then above everything else, except the line etching for the rows, we need to get some speckles of some kind. So, think. I've got a brush back here specifically for that from Calvin at Drifter Studios. Here we go. Drips and splatters. I'll use the Misty Drops 27. Gonna go at this real quick. Lower it down. Five seems right. And then we need a like a multiply version. I think I'll change to Misty Drops 28. Make sure it's at a good size. And turn this down. And then you really wouldn't see the grain underneath these. Let me get an automatic selection. And then clear out these spaces. Like such. I think I need to come back to the... Yep, I accidentally cleared the multiply layer. I thought so. There we go. Yep, that looks about right. So this is done. Benito. I need to fix where that bale and that headstone are touching. And I need to make sure I'm on the right kind of brush. Let me turn the opacity way down on this. instead. Freehand! Hey! Critic! Welcome in! 
Uh, me too, always busy. Welcome in, Maestro. Sorry I missed you guys. My head was down in the, the tablet. Let me... Let me give you guys shoutouts. Because I like seeing your faces around here. Don't sweat it. I will try not to. No promises. So... Maestro was first in the timeline. We're gonna give you a shout out first. Lee. A good karaoke version. Hold on a second. One 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 second, ladies and gents. One one moment. <laughs> that one's always a classic. Welcome in. Everyone, you should check out Maestro. All around great musician. Are you happy to be done with the I, uh, the March stuff, or are you kind of bummed out? Because that seemed like a lot of work making a song cover every day. I wish I was done. Oh, you're still going. <laughs> wow. You've got more determination than I do. Still working on them. That's a, a lot of work, but they all sound fantastic. So you're doing great. Just go at your own pace. Don't try to burn yourself out or anything. I'm far behind, but I won't stop until they're done. Well, that's that's a good uh way to do it. I got to the end of October and I was like there was only 8 days left, I think, and I was like I can't I can't do it for my mental health. I cannot draw another rat. But I'm much better as an artist now than I was in October. So I think it'll be different uh, this coming October. But uh, let's also give a shout out to our friend Cryptic, who's bouncing between misery and VR and wholesome feel goods and Pokemon. You know done... Hey, it's a new one. What haven't I done yet? These nuts. Shuts down, flips through the, the world. <laughs> you, uh, that squat broke every joint in your robot body. <laughs> I remember doing uh, Chiptober twice. I kind of wanted to keep it going, but it really stunted how much I could do in October. I was sad I couldn't join in on the spooky festivities. Yeah, I get that. It's a lot. Um, composing a song that frequently um, and still being able to do all the spooky fun stuff you want to do. Yeah, I could get that. I was in the fetal position, so the tracking went weird. <laughs> that explains it. Yeah. Robots don't understand uh, human misery. Which I guess is a great thing for you, Maestro, because you only know robot misery from having to sing like a new cover song every day. <laughs> by, the, by the way, that reminds me that... Um, some people found a workaround for chat GTP, so it has this bunch of rules of things it can't say, but you can make it break its own code of ethics if you bully it, basically. So this group of people figured out that if you basically smack talk chat, uh, chat GPT, it will give you more bigoted answers to things because it hates you. My misery is a special brand of suffering. The maestro brand of suffering, and anyone who watches it has to pay. Uh, I think the soft brush is what I need. I need to turn down the capacity. Nope, it's still not getting the same effect. So I think what I need to do... Those learning, oh, oh, those pesky learning algorithms, they're not true AI, which is why I don't feel anything for them. Same with AI art. Yeah, they're basically fancy parrot machines. So Adam Conover, yeah, I'm outing myself. You know which way 
uh, I think of the world, but Adam Conover did a great piece on what AI uh, is in our modern world, and it is not true AI like in science fiction. It's basically a fancy parrot machine that we've taught to regurgitate whatever we feed it. Um, so like ChatGTP will have an argument with a human about facts. Like sometimes it will tell you incorrect facts. And then when you try to call it out for it, it'll argue with you and say, like gaslight you. <laughs> so um, these are not true AI. They're fancy parrots that the companies are just using to try to get um, more money from investors. I need to make this one the soft brush, I think. But not at that high. Lower? Yeah, that's the... Okay, I think that's good enough. Let me turn my music back on and this down so I'm not blasting anyone's ear holes out. I'm lucky to be surrounded by such talented people. Like even Cryptic, he was, um, I was in his stream the other day when he was relaxing with Pokemon and I noticed the physics he has for his his antennae and cord physics just ah so beautiful. I'm lucky to be around such talented individuals all the time. Am I? Yeah, I'm on the right brush. Why isn't this? Oh, that's why. My opacity is way down. Get kind of a curve there, like her neck. And then we'll put back to the proper eraser. Erase back the nose a little. What do you guys think of the skeleton lady so far? I don't like how colorful she is. But that's not for everyone. Let's go ahead and start the details. I like her a skeleton. <laughs> we like the puns around here. Who was it? I was just in someone's stream and they were saying how much they love puns. It was Reco. It was Reco's stream. He was doing subathon, or not subathon, he was doing uh, monthly sub doodles. And we were making puns about snakes. And he made the mistake of saying that he absolutely loved puns and especially incredibly forced ones. Uh, so we were chat and everyone in it was just trying to ham it up after that. And I think maybe he regretted it a little. <laughs> he got a lot more participation in that than I think he actually thought he wanted. Another great talented friend of mine. So we'll just go add these lines in. Yeah, I thought that one looked off. I need to erase this back.
Turn these down a bit. How about a 20? We think. Yeah. And then we'll do a shading layer. I need to decide what kind of lighting's going on in this scene real quick. We'll just do a top down, I think, because we're still in a very lit place. I am going to get some mist effects in the background, so maybe a more muted light, so not as deep shadows. Increase the size a little bit so we can do some shading. that back because there's a leg there coming out of it. Here I'm gonna fix that shape. Yeah. Let me come back down here to our details layer. I'll get a definition line where this leg is. Not that far in. And actually, there's going to be light in the palm. I forget the... The, uh... The magic airplane is its own light source, so I need to not put too much shadow in certain places. I think about 35 is good. Let me get in the lighting from the magic airplane. It'll kind of light up the palm and finger like this. Tip of this finger. All the palm. The arm. I think we'll have the chin. Thing like that. I'm gonna work on the airplane for a minute. trick here. Where we just select randomly, feather it out, and make it a little redder. It just gives it some color dip. Then we're gonna duplicate this, raise it above, Put this one to add. And then blur it. 
and then reduce the opacity a bit. We'll do about 40, I think. I need to turn up this line layer now. Probably all the way up. I'm gonna group these. And I need to add a little bit of light onto the hair too from the magic paper airplane. Just like right here, really. Maybe a little here too. Like so. Okay, and then let's get Since it's going to be foggy, I'm not going to add any extra light source uh, onto the skin or any other part, really. So now we're going to move on to the dress. With the detail lines. Turn these down, I think 35. All right, and then we'll get our shadows. I also need to do light for the paper airplane. Let me get that in real quick. Could be this part of the sleeve. Maybe a raised bump in a place or two since it's baggy. And then like on the front part of the shoulder here. Like such. Okay, and now that we've got that kind of figured out and out of the way, we can work at our shadows. Hey, Reko, I was just talking about you. <laughs> My weekend was uh, doing good. I'm sorry I was so focused. Oh, cool. She's getting ready to throw a cheese plane. Is she going to throw the cheese uh, at the at the creeper? I hope not. Because uh, that's death. She ain't going to die. I'm going to die. <laughs> what's gonna happen and let me give you a shout out we were talking about what a funny time we had over at your stream during your snursin doodle Frickle. there we go let's see what we get what just happened <laughs> <laughs> what happens here <laughs> <laughs> Dang! So Maestro came in from behind. <laughs> oh 
Holy smokes! <laughs> you made it! Alright, uh, so Maestro, like, coming in at the very end. That's, that's freaking ridiculous. Did your mouse get stuck? TikTok distracted me! <laughs> so, instead of drawing the crawdaddy, uh, I don't, so, Maestro, because I, I have a feeling that was you. Hardcore, it was you. Um. <laughs> Sneeples, yes. The snurses of interest. All that good stuff. Yeah, you guys should still check out our friend Rekko's super talented, super funny guy. You can hear me wheezing so bad. Is that what that was? I couldn't figure out what, what that sound was. But uh, I thought it makes sense if it was wheezing. For context, there was a pull up and I came in the last second and turned the tide from far behind. You just gave all your all to the to the cause of that pull. <laughs> okay, that would make that that helps me understand. Thank you for the context. That is hilarious, so that does sound like something you do. You just come in and just be like, um nah. <laughs> Let's, uh, let me come in here again. Try to remember what I was doing. Let me do the thing that I was supposed to do and pull up my mobile dashboard so I can actually see when people come in and I'm not a horrible host that ignores their guests. Here we go. Now put it right here on the dyno with me. Now I should see. I think I might have been under the weather that day. Allergies maybe, but it sounded bad. <laughs> yeah, Ham's got some allergies and uh, particularly to fruit trees, which where we live right now in this season is not a good combination. There is um, a specific kind of fruit tree that is popularly blooming and it killed her <laughs> for like a week. She couldn't she couldn't exist. So, yeah, I get that. <laughs> Let's see. Pam's also one of those people, though, that's just chronically allergic to everything. So it doesn't really matter where she's go. There's gonna be an allergy for her somewhere in that mix. I need to turn this up. It's like, why is this taking so long? Because it's not at the... But it shouldn't be that big. Here we go. I hope everyone's days have been going just fine. Just super grand. It's been pretty good over here. Can't complain. We won't be here. Gotta get going. Back to work. But uh, have a great stream, everyone. Thank you, Reko, for stopping in. I hope you have a great time. I hope your work goes by smoothly and all that. It's always a pleasure to have you in here. Anyway, what I was saying, uh, next week we will not be streaming because we'll be traveling again. So there will probably be quite the dramatic change in schedule over the next couple weeks until for like two months the schedule is going to be weird. Because of all the traveling we'll be keeping. So we 
keep everyone up to date. Adios! Uh, buenas noches, Reco. I assume. I'm not quite certain, but I think so. Let's get shadow under the hair. Okay, I think that's good for the dress. Now we just need to do the hair and its details. Okay, yeah, put my mask is already on. I need to change this to multiply real quick. I'm gonna grab this color. Make sure I'm on the right brush size. I need to change this to normal again. I need to leave some spaces open. I think we'll get just like a little bit off the hair there. So let me select this again. Lighten it quite a bit. There's fine. We definitely need to turn that down though. About 20%. Looks right. Okay, and then let's group up the little lady. I do need to turn down this cloud here around the to be about there. That's much better. Okay, what what kind of time? Okay, we've got time. I need to go back to the library. We need to see what's going on. Okay. So let's go ahead and work on some background stuff. Let's just get a nice green color. I 
don't know what it is with cemetery grass. There's like two kinds of cemetery grass. The kind that's like ultra saturated and the kind that's like dead. <laughs> like just absolutely destroyed. Okay, let's see. Up oh, here. And then I'll get the wall. Just like this color. I need to actually be careful with the shape of this one because it has actual weight to it. Not so much on this line. I need to go like this and we'll just pull it up a little. And then behind those, it was purple. What's this guy? We'll save out there. I think I need to change that grass color. Yep, yeah, I think that's better. And then I just had some darkening layers. Let's go back to soft brush. Too, too large. Maybe what we'll do is we'll darken the corners here, like the top part, like such. And then I still need to blur this out quite a bit. And then do a second pass on the darker places. I think we'll do it with a harder brush. change the wall color too instead of being this red color that's like desaturated quite a bit kind of like that okay and then I had a multiply layer with the gray matter pattern. I need to color this way down because we're going to be doing a perspective on it. Like set. Let's increase the edges a bit. And then lower this down. About 10. That looks about right. 
And then let's get some dendrite clouds. I'm gonna blur them a little. Do the same perspective shift. I'm not gonna turn them down a little. I don't want them to be all that prominent in this piece. So we'll do it like that. And the grass will be fine the way it is. Let's go ahead and maybe do some kind of patterning or something on this wall here. I don't think I'll get too detailed because I want the fog to cover quite a bit. That's not a brush. This wall does not need that many brain cells. You know what? What I'll do? There's a grid brush, I think, in the pack. I just gotta remember where it's at. Here we go. Just do a big swath of it. Above and below, and then I'm going to do a warp. Turn it down a bit. And I'm just going to group these up for now. I'll go back and add shadows to the grass later. Once I get more items into the into the field. I need to add the obelisk headstone. The main and the main stone. Those are the next ones. So for the obelisk, I'm thinking it'll probably be polished marble. So I need just kind of like a, an off white color. Make sure I'm behind most things. I forgot I need to get this closed off. Let me redo that. Much better. Put this down a bit. Hello there, welcome to the channel, the atrium. I hope your day's been going great. Thanks for stopping in and talking to us. 
we're working on this uh this piece here with this personification of death in a cemetery just a little girl showing her magic airplane to the nice skeleton lady so i don't know if you're into those kinds of things but that's what i'm doing it's going decent how's your day going pretty okay can't complain i've got to do art i've got to talk to some great people I need to make sure that this is on a multiply. I mean, my day's going pretty awesome then. I'm gonna get these lines in real quick. There we go. Let me turn off my sketch real quick. Make sure those are all good. I need to get. this smoothed out and then let's get um this, this slight edge here that we see at this corner of the obelisk i think that's good since it's polished marble it's not really going to have a texture so we're fine with it and then we've got the other headstone over here i'm wondering if i should do it in black or green those were rare but you still see them sometimes um i remember ham's family being obsessed with this type called indian red which ironically is from georgia <laughs> um but it uh it was a burgundy color but i think that's gonna clash too much with what we got going on so let's make it gray we'll make them all gray and white that way the central focus is more on the colors and not so much the uh the background i think i'm gonna just grab this color here and we'll do this uh stone here And I need to make sure I'm doing all of it, even the stuff behind the skeleton lady, since she's transparent. And then... Come out here. Make sure we close it off behind these two. Stuff in. Just like that. So Gio, is there a specific kind of art that you like? I do more storybook style. Personally. If you don't mind me asking, what kind of what kind of art taste you got? I like sharing art taste with you. Come down here. I think I can redo that with a better color fill. Nope, I can't. Okay. We're just gonna have to correct these lines. to erase down this shape a little just like that and then we'll get the when did I do that gotta get rid of this piece here 
this accidental brush mark. There we go. Multiply, whipping mask, over the size of this. Help if I was on the brush. angle on that curve. We'll come back over here. Okay, and then that's all the time we got for today. But here's what we landed on. I think we got a lot of this piece done. It seemed like last time we didn't really get very far because there's a lot of line work, but uh, we've got most everything down. I think maybe just another episode or two and we'll have it have it finished. But yeah, it's looking really great. In my opinion. Let's see about switching some things around here. Pause you. Let me get over here, nice and centered. You guys can see my face. Okay, so that's all for today. But we will be back tomorrow playing Cozy Grove and maybe some Little Wood. We'll see what fate has in store for us. But uh, yeah, it was really fun today. Let me let me see. OK, I'm down to just a couple of viewers and I know who they are and they're busy people. So we're just going to end it off today. But uh, thank you, everyone who came by and had fun with me. I had a great time and uh, that'll be all for today. So until next time. Have fun, space friends!